thank you for watching Chanabi. And of course, I have to thank you for people that actually subscribe to us. So you get to see like whatever new videos and uh, new items that we have actually purchased. So today, what I'm doing is actually not an unboxing. Um, I have this item with me for nearly like um, two years now. I purchased it in mid 2015. So it's a perfect video to actually review how, how much um, how durable is this brand and do I have any sort of problems but of course uh, it's a personal like preferences how much you like it so yeah let's begin alright so if you look at my video titles you know that is actually a mulberry bag yeah so uh, this is how the dust bag look like a drawstring dust bag in um, in grey colour and on the dust bag you can see the brand name Mulberry as well as their prominent logo yeah so are you excited to see what color is the bag that I have? I hope you are so ta -da! <laughs> so this is my bag that I have purchased two years back and um, this is a bicolor the reason why I selected a bicolor rather than I know this is a classic bag so most people might just go for a plastic bag, plastic color but for me I really like this color for the first time when I saw it I, I told it in love with it it's like a perfect summer bag right? for the color it's, it's really beautiful so um, for this, this, um, this is actually in blue color and they call this C S E A C blue and for the green it's called jungle green so it's a really perfect combination I actually like that the fact is that like majority of the color is for this bag for this bicolor majority of the, the body is actually in the blue rather than the green because it's darker in color and it's easier to maintain and moreover, the material that I purchased for this bag is actually in lambskin. So, like what people always say, lambskin is actually slightly harder to, to take care of. And it's true, but I still like it because of the texture. It gives you a feeling like, oh, you're carrying a baby. Yes, you are carrying a baby. But I do not baby it too much because you should grow up, right? But mommy still loves you. <laughs> I know I'm weird. I'm talking to my back. <laughs> so this is a lady back. So this is how it looks. So um, like what I mentioned earlier is leather, uh, in lambskin leather. So it's actually harder to take care. Um, after two years of usage, um, there are wrinkles. If on close up look, you are able to see the wrinkles on the areas that. You touch the most like flipping this area up so the wrinkles is slightly more on the edge over here and uh, for the green uh, green color I'm, I'm actually very shocked because I was expecting the wrinkles to be extremely obvious over the time of my usage right but it's decent of course there are wrinkles uh, lines that I could see but it's decent it's not like it's really really old that you do not want to use them anymore so it's fine and um, whenever because for this bag I use it over the shoulder as well as cross body so when I'm doing cross body and sometimes I'm wearing jeans so that's like color transfer from my clothing to my bag but it's, it's still alright it's not like extremely ugly but of course you prefer it at its original jungle green right but it's fine I, I still love it so um, the dimension of this bag would be the length 20 cm the height 16 cm and the uh, width or you call it the depth is actually 7.5 cm over here and for the shoulder stripe wise it's quite a decent one for my height I've been constantly emphasizing that I'm very short I'm standing 160 cm so uh, this is quite a good shoulder strap length and at the end of this video I will definitely be doing a model video uh, 
a model photo but model view of how it looks on me yeah so for this shoulder stripe the maximum length is actually 54 cm yeah so um yep yeah, correct and let's go into it yeah. so as you can see this bag is actually in silver hardware for the chain uh, there are leather in between, right? So the leather in between is actually the same blue like what you see on the main body the sea blue Yeah, correct and um, This Mulberry actually called this a post uh, What do you call it? A postman lock closure So really cute So um, So how do you actually do opening? It's just to twist it down and you could open it easily so on the hardware on top, it actually it does not spell out the full name of Mulberry, but it has this um, prominent logo, and this padlock is actually detachable from the metal hardware over here. So for me, um, every single gram is additional weight onto my body, and I do not like it. So I do remove it whenever I'm traveling when I use it for try. So I brought it once with me on a short trip to Korea. So I actually remove it to reduce the weight. Yeah, because for this bag, once you start to put in more things, it's quite heavy. Reason being is that the inner lining is actually sweet. Yeah, so sweet is like, it makes the bag actually more luxury, but however, it and on weight. So if you're always traveling on the car, you sit down, I'm fine, but otherwise I prefer to carry a lighter weight sort of bag. But this is still decent, it's not like heavy, you could not walk, you need someone to help you. It's fine, it's just that like, you want something like fashionable, but this is still quite decent. So um, the inner lining is sweet and is in dark blue colour. Um, initially when I had it, it was like really dark. It was like nice color but over time as you can see um it start to have some white patches over it but i i, I read online some people actually send it to those uh, back restorer they will come back in pretty nice clean color so but i have no intention of doing it anytime soon because i don't really use this bag all the time i switch around with all my bags so i'm still fine with it and um but of course it's like sometimes i might i'm careless and i've forgotten to like when when i finish using this bag and i put it over my shoulder i forget to lock it yep at times i'm aging old woman <laughs> so maybe not but yeah so i might forget to to actually put it in place in the correct position so over times it was tends to have some scratches on the the inner back of the hardware closure uh, it's not significant but it's still quite significant if you have close up but overall it's fine for me it's not rusty at, so it's perfectly fine oh I'm surprised so the sticker label I'm not sure you could see is still on the metal uh, hardware normally I do not remove the sticker I'll just let it fall off eventually over time of usage but yeah the the sticker is still in so let me remove the stuffing so i could share more about the interior so uh other than the flat over here that is in suede the interior for the entire bag of here is all in suede and there's a zip inner compartment yeah a zip pocket quite smooth zip you could hear the sound yeah, it's quite smooth and there's a leather handle yeah there's a leather handle that help you to hold on for you to open and zip it um, normally I do not zip the internal compartment I just keep it open I will just put like some cuts and all this with it that's all and the interior you could see like there's a leather patch stating the brand as well as a uh, metal hardware yes correct so 
Yep. And the bottom of this bag is like fully green. There isn't any stunt or like back stand on it. No, that's it. And it's a very lightweight. And over here, these are the items that I would normally put in my bag. And definitely over here, I will actually indicate in words what are the things that I place within. So um, I'm able to put like papers within after I do like two folds like what I do normally one fold, two fold and if it fit into my bag this is definitely not a school bag but like if you're placing things because some small little documents is perfect and my Hermes wallet and Singapore is extremely sunny so I normally bring along my sunglass and for this week I'm actually using my Ray-Ban a pack of tissue my earpiece my iPhone earpiece lipsticks normally this is the only lipstick that I bring along and a box of candy so this is how it looks Definitely use, I, I still have sufficient space to put my iPhone reading. Yes, but however, as usual, I will use my phone to, to do the video ring. So it's not possible for me to show it how it looks. But it fits perfectly well, like what you could see now, after all the items is within the bag. Yes, so... um. And it keeps, like when you have items, like what I had, decent amount um, It helps you to make this bag in a good shape, like what you can see And hold on for a minute, I will show you shortly how it looks when I'm modeling this bag Yeah. Thumbs up. So do whatever you do and subscribe to your channel so you can have more information.